Uh, second, lack of budget, right? Even if you do know about it and you're small, just getting started, every penny is precious. And, yep. you know, would you rather spend your money on security or that sexy new tool you need to bring in, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars in renewal? Hi, I'm Eric. I'm Mike. And welcome to Cyber, Cyber Sit Rep. Rep. Hey, we nailed it. Finally, we're getting this down. Getting to be a well oiled We're on episode machine. 457, I think. <laughs> I so. wish, right? That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and please watch all those, by the That's way. Right. <laughs> that would be great. Like, watch and follow, even if you can't see them. Uh, and as always, we're coming to you from Studio 809 here in That's Colorado right. Springs. Beautiful Friday, and we are wiped. Because I don't know why we do this on Friday afternoons. I think it's because our podcast producer, that's when he's available. So, yeah. you know, it's it, all good. So if, you, if we look like we're ready for a beer, it's because we are. We are. That's right. Are. So, Mike, speaking of that, so we can, uh, you know, get on to having that beer here in a little while. What's our what's our topic today? So we're going to be talking about our cybersecurity 101. And it's an introductory to businesses, small businesses, and right. what they need to know about cybersecurity. We've talked bits and bobs and pieces, but now we're going to kind of put it all together in a few episodes. Sneaky like, right? Yeah. We've been a little sneaky with that. And, yep. you know, Just hitting you with uh, knowledge bombs <laughs> instead right. of a... Well, Right. Spelled out class, if you will. Absolutely. Uh, normally, that we do teach this as a as a class about a ninety minute to two hour long class. We're breaking it up into six sections. Make it bite sized. That way, you can go back and replay whatever section you'd like exactly. to put emphasis on. And uh, uh, then we're basically going to teach you guys defense in depth today, right? That's right. And we're going to give you what you need to know as a small business to uh, secure yourself in the best way possible. Absolutely. So this sit rep is specifically our introduction. So we're going to talk about what cyber. Security is. We always like our definitions, right? That's right. Why cyber? Uh, sorry, why small businesses are at risk of uh, cybersecurity threats? And because uh, we, we start? all are. Well, because we are, right? And, yeah. and we're just going to mention that again. I know we've done that in another set rep, yep. but we're going to talk. You know, once again, we're going to reinforce it, right? Sometimes rote memorization really works. Yeah, muscle memory. Do it yeah, again and um, again until you get it. Absolutely. All right, Mike. So what I'd like to do uh, whenever I teach a formal class is I always like to make sure that at least for the hour we're together, hour and a half. And I know you you teach a lot. Uh, same thing. We like to make sure that we're on the same sheet of music, right? Terminology we're, matters. Absolutely. So at least for the next you know, 10, 15 minutes, uh, we're going to agree upon the definition. And so we have this definition of what is cybersecurity, right? So um, I, I pulled this directly from Mary Webster, Webster Dictionary, right? There so it's go. legit. And they say that cybersecurity are measures taken to protect a computer or computer system, as on the Internet, against unauthorized access or attack. Sounds a pretty good definition. Right I know uh, CISA, the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, mm -hmm. I like their definition because they call it an art. Yes. And I have never been an artist in my life. Can't <laughs> draw. Now, it's all we stick now, figures. Right. But they now I'm an artist. Right. So I am very Excellent. happy to now say Thank I'm you, officially CISA. an we artist. appreciate you. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, because same thing. I never got past stick figures. So, yep. all right, there's hope yet is what you're saying. Exactly. For us Thank you, CISA. Artist I am now an artist. Awesome. Uh, and then uh, one thing I'd like to, to uh embellish on is that cybersecurity to me is an, a sub element of a larger discipline we call information assurance yes uh, you know and that, those terms have been around forever right cybersecurity everybody thinks is a new term we called it computer security we've called it information assurance we've called it you name it it's been lots of different names exactly. over the years uh, it's the same thing right so we want to make sure we're we're, we're talking the main about that. goal of protecting your your infrastructure and data yeah absolutely however you want to call it Right, and so as a component of uh, information assurance, right, information assurance are those measures that protect and defend information and information systems by ensuring, and this is really important, availability, integrity, authentication, confidentiality, and non-repudiation. A lot of times what we call the CIA triad, right? That's right. That is more of the information assurance umbrella that cybersecurity is a, a member of, right? We have to protect those. CIA confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Absolutely, and for those of you that are new to your cybersecurity walk, uh, we did you a solid. The, the quicker you memorize those terms and learn those, the better off you will be, because that's how we measure everything, right? In, in terms of C, I, and A. Yeah, so. and you can just tell your family and friends, like, hey, I'm working on some CIA stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, right, right. See, once again. But don't tell them exactly what, and then they'll wonder. <laughs> Mike is more clever than I am, as usual. That's great. I'm going to steal that. I'm going to appropriate that. Just like give me a vowel or buy yeah, me a vowel. buy yeah, me a vowel. Absolutely. I need Vanna. can do that. Uh, <laughs> so, Mike, uh, let's just reinforce. Why are small businesses at risk of being uh, threatened with cybersecurity? Well, because I think um, 
it goes back to what I like to call my Ocean's Eleven principle uh, that yes. we see on the news, mm -hmm. the Ocean Eleven heist. The big heist, lots of millions of dollars. The sexy, flashy. And intricate, right. takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. But how many corner stores were robbed last night? Right. It's not on the news. Right. Well, that's you, small business and cybersecurity, that we hear about the big ones and you think, I'm safe, I'm too small. Exactly. But they are hitting small businesses Absolutely. very rapidly and All they just the go goes under the the, the news or yeah, under the you know the radar because mm -hmm. um, most businesses I think you said it on another pod 60 percent go out of business within the first year after a breach so you just don't hear about them again right, right you don't, exactly, they, exactly they're just gone. they just cease to exist right that's right so it doesn't make the news yeah no I, I agree and so if we could uh, once again I'm a nerd for you know stove piping everything uh, if I could paraphrase what you just said there uh, one of the biggest reasons why we're at risk as small businesses is just lack of awareness right because yep. we're just ignorant to the threat we're not really sure it's real or not we we read about it, but it sounds so alien and foreign that, you know, to Mike's point, it doesn't apply to you. It does. Uh, second, lack of budget, right? Even if you do know about it and you're small, just getting started, every penny is precious. And, yep. you know, would you rather spend your money on security or that sexy new tool you need to bring in, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars in revenue, right? And, so, and a lot of small businesses feel that cybersecurity is just expensive. They don't understand that you can do little right. or do a lot with a little right. that you have. Right. And, you know, once again, one of the adages we use in the industry, it's like selling insurance, right? Uh, is that when it comes to cybersecurity, we, we have to take the tack of what would it cost you if you didn't have it in your organization, right? right? As opposed to what's your return on investment by using this? That's really hard, right? And there are some ways that you can uh, show that ROI. Maybe we'll do that as another sit rep, right? But yeah, I got a quick one. If you take yeah, the $20 a month, it would cost you for identity protection times 12 months, mm -hmm. $240. And then thank you for doing that math. Yeah. Oh, well, I've done it a lot for my classes. So this one's stuck <laughs> in my head. Nice. And then you multiply that times 500 clients. That's mm -hmm. the small business. I've lost 500 client records. It's $120,000. So can a small business afford $125,000 just to say, I'm sorry. That right. doesn't fix anything, change anything. That's right. just the whoopsie. Here's your free identity protection like, for a year. It's a great point, right? So which is why a lot of businesses go go out because they just don't have the capital or the insurance, which we'll talk about when we talk about edge, right? Yeah. So um, to cover that, right? Okay. Uh, also, lack of formal processes, right? Uh, once again, it's coupled with that lack of awareness. Lack say, of processes. I, I'm a small <clears throat> business. I didn't have formal processes for a long time. The process was I dreamt it up and it happened. <laughs> exactly, but. But as we learned, right, as we as we went through our cybersecurity walk and became a little smarter, yep. faster, better, gooder, uh, then we started to develop those, and we realized the uh, the need for that. And that's one of those. Once again, that's going to be in our edge. We're going to talk about because yep. it's not easy, right? Doing processes, uh, policies, plans, procedures is not for the faint of heart. It is not easy. However, we will give you some pointers and show you yeah, some and resources. It's, it's hard to understand as a small business too that the paperwork side the developing the processes know, right? is our, making me money but it will help it, is. it does need to happen it's just hard to see when you're starting in very small exactly you know you got to think bigger so uh, that's definitely an edge and then finally a lot of businesses are reactive versus proactive right because until the Most, bad man yeah. comes and kicks down the door and you know I'm, I'm mixing analogies here blows the house down then they're not going to worry about it right because we, they've we got get, better things to, to do we get more calls back mm -hmm. from a sales call when we try to offer them a product Nice. And then they're like, no, you know, we don't think we're a target. And then six months later, they're like, you know that thing you tried to sell us? Right. We need that because right. we were breached. And, it, you know. and well, you know, and if I could, Mike, I know you're happy to take their business. But on the other hand, you've got to feel just this chagrin that, you know, man, it's talk terrible. about self-inflicted gunshot wound, yep. right? You guys could have avoided this exactly. for not a lot of money. And we're going to help you convince you uh, to get into that walk and make yourselves proactive, right? Exactly. Okay. Just a little bit of foresight. Yep. Yep. I agree. Uh, and there's tons of metrics. When we talk about, you know, uh, the financial losses, uh, just, you know, use your search engine of choice. Look out there, you know, average loss, cybersecurity attack, small business, and you'll see numbers all over the place. But the reality is, regardless of what that level may look like on the net, the, the statistic of uh, businesses going out of business within so many months is very real. So, you know, even though uh, I've got a stat here that the average is like 4.35 million, that was back 
back in 2022, right? And if you you know do the math you were just doing, that could very quickly get you there. But uh, yep. a lot of smalls go, well, that's not realistic, Eric, because we're too small. We don't even make that much in a year. Right, and that's why I always come up with that my little statistics because it's right. like I don't care what you make if you have 500 clients, that's the minimum you're yeah. going to pay just to say I'm sorry. And, and take our take our professional experience with this. Everybody we've seen that's had a cyber breach, cyber attack, they've hurt really bad, uh, and we have seen some of them go out of business. We've seen some recover, but it's not a recover overnight and just get back to doing business, right? It is it is a really big uh, major life event for the for the business, right? That's impacted. Yeah, and you were a small business that had their QuickBooks breached. Yep. They took all the money out of the account, their bank accounts, and then they got a loan through QuickBooks and took that money out of the account too. <laughs> oh. So not only could they not pay their employees, oh. they were in the debt. Yeah, ouch. A Tens double, of thousands of dollars. Double slap. Yeah. Wow. So, all right, Mike, so where do we start? And once again, this is our intro. We're trying to set the scene that's of what, right. what we're going to get into. Um, what, what kind of concept are we going to try to reinforce? Well, a defense in depth is what yes. we like to call it. That's what we call it in the industry, right? That's right. But we wanted to be clever and say core to edge. Core to edge, which is the, you know, from the beginning to Center. the outside, right? Yeah, think of a bullseye target, right? Perfect. And think of a double yeah. bull. That would be your core. And uh, I know it sounds like a bad analogy because throwing a perfect bull is kind of hard, right? But if you look at it from a size and complexity, it's right in the middle, mm -hmm. right? And so for our definition, the core are those things that are quick, easy, cheap, you know, get you into the fight, make a heck of a difference, right? Mm -hmm. And increasing your security posture for not a lot of investment, right? And, and when you said bullseye, I'm flashing back to my time in England. And yes, me too. 100. 180 <laughs> yes. triple 20s trouble you gotta say trouble <laughs> trouble 20s that's correct. right come Sorry. on Sorry, our English cousins we apologize <laughs> uh, so then after our core we have uh, uh, concentric rings starting smaller uh, growing Work our way, way out. out once yeah. again think of that that uh, target you know your your target board we have a few more rings though right we don't have a, right. a, uh, you know center and double and treb you know we have uh, like three rings and then an edge right so um, with each ring our effort increases, right? Not only from a capex, uh, a capital expenditure, but also operational expenditure. I know I'm way, trying to way to cut back on that. You almost almost have an I acronym know, out there, but I we know. pulled it back. I'm really trying hard, guys, because <laughs> believe me, I, we've we take that to heart. There's been a lot of feedback we've gotten. Yeah. Too many darn acronyms, right? So so we'll try to expound on this. We're, so. we're going to hire Vanna White to buy us some vowels. <laughs> Lots of vowels for you guys. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have three rings. We're going to go through, right? Uh, ring one, two, and three. Ring one is uh, not much harder than core and yep. it'll make sense when we get into each of these you're like oh, okay yeah that makes sense uh, but there'll either be a little bit more time investment a little bit more capital expenditure mm -hmm. uh, money uh, time talent treasure right to get you there uh, ring two is a lot more technical uh, more cost there and where you know once again we like to try and point out where there's free and open source options we will give a mention to that yep. but sometimes free is the is your enemy because then you're the product and they don't have all the function you need uh, to throw thrive as a business. Will they check the box? Yes. But will it really give you what you need to thrive and, and prosper as a business? That's not right. so much. So we're gonna we're a little jaded. We're gonna point that out as we Nothing's get there. Nothing's free. No, not at all. Uh, and then ring three is very, very complex. Uh, we'll take a lot more time to, to implement. Trust me, you'll see when we get there. And then finally, edge. That stuff at that the perimeter, right? The double, double bull, right? That's right. Uh, out there. Uh, that is, um, you know, Hard, right? It's 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 a really uh, narrow ring there. Yep. Uh, on Trying the to figure edge. out what you do to protect yourself at that level. Yeah, it's where you've realized what you're doing in cybersecurity, and now you need to optimize it, right? That's so right. now you need to get those things like insurance and policies, plans, procedures, things in there to keep this thing going that you've gotten built, right? And and right. Uh, make this a continual effort, right? Uh, not easy at all, right? Uh, so uh, also when I went over the definitions with you, Mike, we talked about cybersecurity, the definition. The information assurance the definition well once again being sneaky right you got to keep it simple the core and the inner rings are more of our uh, computer our cybersecurity, cybersecurity style stuff. controls and as we go to that edge we get more to that information assurance side of things right which is why it's more complex costly to implement etc so uh, and also we'll go from technical to management because those core controls it's technical. They're easy. You'll see when we get there. Don't want to spoil it. You got to wait when we get to the next uh, right. next session you here. Have to when stay we get tuned. In, when we get into core, uh, but realize we're going from you know minimal complexity, minimal cost, purely technical. Uh, you know. Um, easy in scope as we go out then the rules change things get more technically onerous uh, we then shift 
into management, which, you know, that's really hard to manage cybersecurity as well. Uh, at least it was for me to learn that that balance, right, and get there right. of, you know, managing the needs of the company against your cybersecurity requirements. And I look at um, this as setting up our goalposts. Uh, absolutely. And so for you as a small business who may not know exactly what can I afford, what can I do, right. you start small at the core and work out as you can. Absolutely. And then it kind of shows you a path forward as you grow or as you get more things. It's yeah. not a all or nothing. It's do yeah. what you can. We understand. Uh, nobody's going to do this in one day. I don't care who you are. No. It takes time and it takes resources. That's a great point, Mike. And then finally, if you can, right, if you have enough time and cycles in your in your organization, work these items in parallel if you can. So if you can do the core and a ring and even the edge and get started on it, great, do that. But if you don't have that, then once again, start at the core, work your way out. But, uh, you know, many hands make light work. So if you can work things in parallel, you'll start to get a little bit of synergy and maybe things will go a little faster at the end, right? Our, right. our term in the military is slow, is smooth, smooth is fast. Smooth is fast. Right? Crawl, so, walk, run. Absolutely. Absolutely. So do whatever works for you and then realize you can always uh, turn up the intensity as you go, as you start to get your legs and get comfortable in this. Right. And it's just muscle memory. Once you get into it, you're going to realize, oh, I do know more than I thought. I do this at home. You know, these are small, simple things. And and I just want to do a spoiler in advance is that a lot of these things we're going to tell you guys about, you're like, well, duh. Right. That's really easy. Why? Why do? Because you need to know that because all these things together make you a much harder target for exploitation. Exactly. I mean, I think all of you probably lock your business door when you're not there. Right. Congratulations, you've passed the step in cybersecurity. Absolutely. What about locking your computer with data at rest encryption? Yeah. Hmm. Right. You know, other little things that you can do that are simple. Absolutely. All right, sir. Well, with that, uh, stay tuned. This was the first of six, I believe. All right. Yeah. The next one's coming up. We're getting ready to do that one next. Thanks, everybody. Hey, remember to like and follow. And as Eric said, we have more coming. (laughs) Stay tuned. Bye. Uh, Would you like to do our shout out? Sure. Today, we're coming to you from the Studio 809 Community Podcast Studio at The Next Us, which is a professional cooperative environment for small businesses in downtown Colorado Springs. So they help us out. We're appreciative of them. 